What up, peoples? This your boy, D Blaze. <laughs> and welcome to this important episode of Viper's Current, where the concept is living for tomorrow. You know, some people may get that concept misconstrued, or they too busy concerned with the problems of today in order to in order to feel blessed to wake up to see tomorrow to see tomorrow. Now now take me for example. I mean, I really don't concern myself with the problems I face. For no for no for no problem is too great when you have faith. And I, and, I, and all I want to do is just like I'm I'm grateful to wake up today, but I'm even more grateful to wake up for tomorrow. Because tomorrow is never promised. I mean not not too many people can say the same about waking up to see tomorrow because you may never know when your time will come. <laughs> and that's pretty much my take on it. I mean I mean there's there's an old saying that I picked up. The old saying is pretty much <laughs> the seeds of today are contained in the apple core of yesterday which provides the soil for the tree of tomorrow. Now, I'm going to get into the meaning of that quote in just a little bit. But right now, let's dive right into the poem, shall we? <laughs> Have you ever wondered when the day is over with? <laughs> if you ever if, if you were ever going to wake up to see the next day? Life can be in gambles sometimes, good or bad. But no matter what the scenario is, you must understand this. If it wasn't for God, looking over us every day with his grace and might, there would be nothing left to wake up to each and every day. Life's fruit bred by your blessings. Almighty sun shining upon your flesh. Beauty of life fully blossomed to perfection, <laughs> an astonishing life's portrait forever painting. Through all negativity and malice of life, the peaceful beauty exists within the sandstorm, sandstorm of violence. For his embrace is phenomenal, than anything fathomable. No matter how you view life, no matter how you live your life, he will always be there for you to make sure you wake up for tomorrow. For what it holds is questionable. Trust me, <laughs> he is not through with you yet. For he is merely testing you before your time comes to reunite with him in the luminous skies of heaven above. But don't turn your back on him. Don't shut him out of your life. <laughs> Let him in. For he shall guide you through life's troubles and provide life's beauty through your spirit's river. So, to be honest, when I wrote that, when I wrote that poetic piece, it was, it was pretty much a foresight. And that was when, and that was during the period when I finally, I finally started to reestablish my relationship with God. And and to be honest, to be honest, I never, I never felt more, I never felt more pure. I never felt more pure than I, than I ever had. And, and to be honest, and to be honest, I'm, I'm real grateful to wake up to see, to, ne to see the next day. I'm even more grateful to, to bring success, even minimal success of today because what because what you bring to the table is pretty much it's pretty much a prediction of what tomorrow will bring so nev so never so never try to think negative about what happened today be more optimistic I mean it's okay to be realistic but but what but, ne but never think negative especially about yourself. And that's what most people, that's what most people fail to realize. 
There's more to life than there's more to life beyond your problems. And that's why I titled this poem "Living for Tomorrow." You live, you live for tomorrow. You live for tomorrow. You, pre you provide, you provide, you provide the building blocks for your successful future. No matter, no matter what pace you go at it, you steady build, and your future will shine brighter. And, and for the meaning of the quote I stated earlier, it's it's more it's more it's more than an artful painting, in my opinion. Because <laughs> what? Because what? Because what? Once you get a once you get a feel of yesterday, surging through you today. What you bring, what you bring from yesterday, which is the apple core. If you plant, you plant your seeds of today by by being more positive and faithful, more positive and faithful and grateful for life, which which will begin to seep into the soil. But for your beginning tree of tomorrow. And it's an endless cycle. It's it's pretty much it's really is it really is an endless cycle when you think about it. You keep on repeating the you keep, you keep on repeating the process. And you and you will and you will have your completed force of life. Due to your success, due to your due to your belief and faith. And, do, and most definitely courtesy of your hard work. If you don't work hard, you never know what your garden will become. <laughs> but uh, I hope y'all like this video. Stay tuned for next week. And FYI, FYI, new Q and A set. You new Q and A session is coming up next month in April. So be on the lookout for that. In just in just a few more weeks. Now this is your boy Blaze saying adios, and I shall see y'all next week. Have a good weekend. I'm out.